heard about hydroponics, but it looks a little intimidating and expensive. <laughs> what if I could show you in just 10 simple steps how to build yourself a small space hydroponic system for 80% less? Can you do it? Yes, you can. This is what I regularly harvest from a three foot shelf system. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing for 80% less than the commercially bought growth systems. It may sound silly, but step one <laughs> is to figure out where your small space hydroponic system is going to go. I have one in my office. I have another in a corner in my office. You can go either way. You can put your small space hydroponic system in a corner, on a shelf, in your kitchen. You can put it in a garage or basement. I've even put some in an attic. Step two, gather your materials. I have some of mine right here in my kit. If you want to know more and a way to order it, go to hydroforfood.com and you will see the hydroponics resource page or you can look in the description. One of the items you gathered was a wire shelf. I use a wire shelf because it's adjustable and the lights will come through it. You can hang things from it. It's just a more flexible shelf to use. And if I spill something, I wipe it off, doesn't harm it. You want at least 12 inches between your, the top of your tank and the bottom of the next shelf. This is so you can hang your lights and adjust them. Step three is place your grow lights. Do that before you put your plants in. What you're going to do is make sure that your light is approximately four inches off the top of your tallest plant. Step four, <laughs> you're going to take a tote and repurpose it. You'll measure it out and it'll look like this. This is a 10 gallon tote, comparable to the one that's 80% more and we've placed eight holes. Here's another example of a type of tub that you can repurpose. This is a Rubbermaid food service tub with lid. And it's growing yummy lettuce. If you want more on that, remember, there's a video for it. Step five, we pull the tubing through and you place the air stone into the tubing. It will go in the middle. One of the next things I do is I test to see is the air stone working. Step six is to prep your nutrients. Because we're putting in young seedlings, such as these, <laughs> they're going in a 50% pH balanced water and 50% nutrient solution. And if you want, you can get some of Glenna's pre-measured nutrient kit at the Terry Hill Farm Etsy store. Makes a total of 20 gallons, five gallon batches at a time. You're ready for step seven of your indoor small space hydroponic system. That's 80% of the cost of a commercial. You are going to carefully transplant your seedlings and place them in net cups. Ready to go into your tank. The seedlings are in, but wait, there's a couple more steps. One of them is to make sure that your aerator pump is working all the time. And set a timer so that your grow lights are on 12 to 14 hours a day. Remy and I know that you'll do fine if you remember step number nine. Yeah, no, no, I made that rhyme. But you do need to look at your plants every day to make sure that they look like they're growing healthy. Step 10, celebrate. Yay, you did it. You built an indoor small space hydroponic system for 80% less than the commercial brands. Congratulations and happy hydroponics.